After a turbulent few weeks since the collapse of Thomas Cook, it's been announced that all of their 555 stores are being bought by rival Sunderland-based company Hayes Travel. The firm has already offered jobs to 600 former Thomas Cook staff across the country and there are plans to hire more as part of their rapid new expansion. Since the news broke, recruitment lines here at their head office have been ringing off the hook. Hayes Travel currently has 190 shops across the UK and more than 100 jobs will be based here at their headquarters. John Hayes, who set up the business 40 years ago with his wife Irene, have said it's been an emotional time. The day before they went down, I think it was starting to look ominous and it was really moving that uh, our staff just spontaneously sent gifts, small flowers and, you know, and chocolates and things around as a uh, solidarity of the, of the uh, travel, travel community and family, family. There was an opportunity for, for, for Hayes Travel, which we started examining. It's culminated in us uh, buying all 555 branches. <laughs> it's amazing, really, isn't it? The sum of the acquisition hasn't been disclosed, but Mr Hayes has said the hope is to reopen some stores as early as Thursday and the others in the coming days rather than weeks. The move could save as many as 2,500 former retail staff. Andrea worked for Thomas Cook for 17 years. It is very much like a bereavement when that's been taken from you, but then to have this so soon and just feel the, that family spirit that we had at Thomas Cook, to feel that family spirit and to feel that vibe and that energy, like everyone is really excited about what's coming. Altogether, it's been an emotional day and one that will be a game changer for Hayes. But with more customers turning away from the high street travel agents, time will tell if it has been a shrewd move. Sophie Halsey in Sunderland.